You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. How you doing, Dan? Oh, pretty darn good. <laughs> She's an actress. Acting, actress, actress. Meryl Streep. Oh, yeah. His birthday today. Happy birthday, Meryl. Little party in Hollywood, getting it done. And one of my favorite characters, again, on TV, just absolutely love this guy, David L. Lander. David L. Lander. Um... He was Squiggy on Laverne and Shirley. Oh, I didn't know that was his name. Squiggy and Lenny. Squiggy. Hello. Yeah. He had a name. Of Hello, he Cheryl. Yeah. Oh, he's I a funny guy. I loved him. You know, he wasn't on a lot of other stuff. Talented guy, though. Oh, he's out there somewhere. I know he does, like, you know, voice work, cartoons, that kind of nice. stuff. Yeah, he's working. He's working. So he's eating, John. I know you're worried. But, uh, <laughs> I am worried. He's eating. I want to make sure he is. That's good. Uh, John Dillinger, born this day as well. He is not eating. He's Which dead. is really interesting because it's John Dillinger's birthday today, and it was this very day in 1934, John Dillinger is named as America's first public enemy number one. Wow, that was his birthday what gift. What a sweet gift. Yeah. yeah. Just the way he was geared, he probably was kind of proud of that. Happy birthday to you. He probably was, actually. Don't doubt it. What the heck else is going on is 1944 president franklin roosevelt signs the servicemen's readjustment act okay we refer to it as the gi bill oh very nice oh, yeah yep, i love that yep, huge. oh me me too that is really cool my son got a college education and i didn't have to <laughs> shell out a dime and didn't he just go back to school again and he is yes that's cool that's really cool GI bill. Hey, Luke, milk it for all it's worth. <laughs> you earned it, buddy. Get more smarter That's if you can. For sure. And I just love this story because it's just that darn bizarre. It was 1633. Galileo. Galileo. Was forced to recant his views that the earth orbits the sun. Why? And he was forced to do it by the Pope. No kidding. Oh, wow. Now, the Vatican will not admit it was wrong on this until October of 1992. Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. Oh, so, my gosh. <laughs> they really kind of dug their heels in then. No, I was raised Catholic, and when we say something is something, <laughs> you are not moving that mountain for a long time. <laughs> that explains so much. Um, I was also raised Catholic, and so was Heidi. So yes, we get so it. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 1992. Well, <laughs> All right. Well, the Galilee <laughs> family might have been onto something. <laughs> so I he watched Noah the last night, Pope. Really? Yeah. Might have been right. <laughs> All right. Well, Dan, thank you for that amazing update. My pleasure. Coming up, we've got Ranger Dan coming in. Also on the way, we have uh, some entertainment news. We've got uh, your water cooler talk. We've got uh, good news. A lot of fun stuff. It's all on the way on the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by SiouxFallsFireworks.org. If you have a credit card, we'd like to help you make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if we can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. If you don't have a credit card right now, you can check us out too at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on them critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, morning, Ranger, Ranger Dan. Dan. Oh, how, do you, how are you doing there, Steve? Heidi. <laughs> Ranger John Dan. Dan. Got a woof, woof to me. A crack of windows, is it? Hot in here, or is it just you? Oh, yes. Woo! Okay. Keep your powder dry there, Paco. We're all fine. <laughs> we're good. Hey, you know, we were talking about aardvarks just the other day. A little Radio Rangers, a little Critter now, something a little different. I yeah. decided to kind of work my way through the Critter world alphabetically. Okay. Kind of keep on task here. So we did aardvarks, and of course that starts with ard. So let's jump into bison, shall we? That begins with a B, and that's alphabetical A, B. That's cool. It's there great. we go. Can't throw much by me. I love we're going next. showing off see? my ninth grade education. I love it. <laughs> well, let's see here. Ugh. Bison. Did you know this? The bison, as of a few years ago, is now known and registered and official 
the mammal of the United States of America. In other words, it is right up there with the bald eagle when you talk about national representation. Nice. Oh. Yep. So you got the bison. Which a lot of people refer to as buffalo, but they're not. We're going to get into that. Okay. And the bald eagle. And, uh, you know, they do, uh, they have absolutely nothing in common. Now, <laughs> 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 Both in a movie or something. Now, the bison is, in fact, native to the Great Plains of South Dakota. Nice. And back in the day, they chased everywhere, and there were literally hundreds of thousands of bisons. They now number, anyway, in our neck of the woods, in the thousands. The Yellowstone area is actually, they do a real good job over there. They now have numbers in uh, Yellowstone, which is the biggest herd in the country, which is numbering a little over 5,000 beasts okay. at this wow. point, which is, uh, which is pretty nice. Now, they were darn near extinct back the early 1900s for the most part because they were really great targets and they tasted pretty good <laughs> wow now every year a handful now hang on <laughs> did you know <laughs> did you know you can judge a bison's mood by its tail really okay it is true kind of like a kitty cat or even a dog hmm. Now, when a bison's tail is just hanging there, that means the bison is pretty calm, kind of in the zone, and life is pretty good. But when that tail stands up, and it will stand straight up, Lord have mercy, uh-huh. Nelly, bar the door and slap your grandma. He's coming to lay a beating on you. <laughs> Boom. Slap your grandma. That's all there is. That. In fact, I'm sure you see reports just about every year, there's a handful of liquored up tourists will, in fact, get killed by bisons. Thanks. Yeah. That's all there is to it. They're normally off the, off the East Coast, and... Uh, <laughs> Darn it, it turns out that's kind of by design. <laughs> by, by scientists say bison, in fact, just don't like people from New York. <laughs> <laughs> now, John had mentioned bison, buffalo. Yeah. They are not the same animal, but a lot of people confuse the two and yeah. say, hey, there's buffalo a buffalo you're wrong. Well, I'll tell you what, bison, buffalo, two different things, and you can tell by how they're spelled. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hope you learned something today, little radio rangers. I, 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 no, I did. My brain is... Pfft, Flowing over. <laughs> you know the drill, what doesn't kill you makes stronger stuff for bears and murder horns. Those will kill you every time. This is Ranger Dan. Out, say it with me, please. Yes, yes sir. sir. Each month you have these things called bills. They have to be paid. It's part of being an adult. Not the fun part, but it's important. So if you can find a way to get some of these expenses, it makes that bill day a little better. At insurancechicken.com, we'd like to help. Our site allows you to see what several different companies have to offer all in one place. Back out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. And it's time right now for a little bit of water cooler talk with Mr. Dan Ferris. Water cooler talk comes your way courtesy of SiouxFallsFireworks.org. Mr. Ferris, what do you have for today? Well, let's see here. Do you have teens? Well, you guys have teens, but you're beyond this point. I'm talking early teens if you got children and you're and you're working on the driving thing. The rules for young drivers have been the same for a lot of years. And they they're about to switch up a little bit, and I can't say I disagree. Now I I was a little bit freaked out when I first moved uh, moved here in the late 80s. So I'm out of Minneapolis, and it was real simple. You could get a permit at 16, and you get a license at 16, and that was it. That was, yeah. you could start driving at 16. Right. You're right? start driving when you're like and I think seven. your uh, permit, where you still had to be with somebody, whatever, like was like 30 days, and then you could get your license. So when I moved here, I started noticing when I was driving around, I'm going, mm-hmm. That's a, that's a, there's, a, there's a child driving that car. <laughs> he's, sitting in a, he's sitting in a booster I seat. I mean, literally going, there's a child in that in that car. And people going, well, oh, no, they're 14. I'm going, yeah, there's a child driving that car. Yeah. Teenage driver South Dakota will have to follow a few new restrictions. They're, they're not radical. No. It probably makes sense. Uh, what they're going to be doing, South Dakota teenagers have been able to get their, of course, restricted driver's permit at age 14. That's not going to change. Starting next month, July 1st, they will have to follow some new rules. One change extends the period of time, period of time, rather, that a minor who is passed a driver's ad course must drive on an instruction permit. It used to be 90 days. That is now up to 180 days. Yeah. So that's going to double. And most people are going, well, yeah, they probably need the practice. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Now, young drivers with an instruction permit will uh, have to get 50 hours of parent, guardian, supervised driving, 10 hours of which must be during inclement weather. (laughs) 
That's what I'd like to do. Put a 14-year-old behind the wheel of my car in a snowstorm. <laughs> You're on your own, Mom and Dad. It's a school. School's out because of snow. Awesome. Well, I've been think of this way. If, you, if you've got a kid that's about to step into that arena, just make sure you check with yeah. what the new rules are. It yeah, basically exactly. is an extension of that learner's permit. Yeah. And you're going to have to rack up a few more hours behind the wheel with yeah. them. So Absolutely. still 14. So there are still children behind the wheels of them. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just, it, still, it just it just boggles my mind. Because both my kids learned to drive here, of course. Did you teach them to drive or did Here's mom what, teach them to drive? I, I did. I back roaded it with nice. both of them. And, uh, but the thing is, I didn't let them get their lives until they were 16. I oh, okay. just wouldn't. Our son Look. didn't even want to. But here's what happened. Uh, Luke was a really good driver. Sadie was a little sketchier because she's got what I call the drama gene. Okay. And it's exactly the opposite for us. Yeah. <laughs> and what's, what surprised me, I grew up in a car family. My dad was a dealer. got a couple brothers that were mechanics, blah, blah, blah. You know, I know a little bit about cars. And, and what I noticed is a lot of parents for their kid's first car, it'd be just some little car. Just some yeah. little tiny, like, right. Car. Well, it's easier for them to handle. I'm going, oh, no, no. They're crashing that thing. Yeah. yeah. So we got Sadie Hayes, a used Cadillac. Oh, yeah. 12 yeah. feet long and bulletproof. Doesn't even fit in the garage. <laughs> she, within the first year and a half she drove that car, she was in three different fender benders. Oh, no. Two of them her fault. One, and after the third one, seriously, she's 18 years old. After the third one, she went, I'm done. And we sold the car. And she did not drive again until she was out of college. Oh, wow. Really? Until she had, yeah, it was, it was, I was proud of her because that was all her decision. It wasn't, yeah, we're not doing this thing. She just went, "Mm, yeah, this ain't my, yeah, no. And, uh, I drove with her recently down in Florida. I visit where she lived now. There's a lot of traffic and, uh, she's gotten better. Then she was driving. I did. I looked at her. I said, honey, uh, I've never been so frightened in my life. (laughs) (laughs) And then she's like, Yes, but did anybody die? There no, we're good. But did you die? <laughs> well, we've got some good news to get to. That's on the way. Our bright spot of news. And we'll have some entertainment news in a bit. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Brought to you by SiouxFallsFireworks.org. 2020 has become quite an interesting year. Many people have been cooped up for way too long. We're excited to join hundreds of friends for a fun time in Cancun this October. Hear awesome music from Belinda Carlisle, Cheap Trick, Billy Idol, and many more. The Sands is at the end of October, and we are ready for a vacation i hope you will join us we've been to this event for many years and it is so much fun get more information and reserve your spot at radiotravelgroup.com that's radiotravelgroup.com time now for your bright spot of news brought to you by paul's designer showroom on lake lorraine in sioux falls i've got a couple of things we're going to talk about for our bright spot of news first of all i think this is awesome news at grand falls casino and golf resort Robert's Buffet reopens this Friday. Yeah, this Friday. Uh, this Friday is a big day for a couple of things. First of all, that is the uh, the day of the uh, the 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 big concert uh, we've been talking about. Aaron Tippin, and then he's also got uh, Mark Cords. He's a comedian. He'll be opening for him. Fraternal Order of Police and Associates presenting Aaron Tippin. If you would like to win tickets to that, today is your last chance to win tickets at sunnyradio.com. Click on the Win Awesome Prizes button, and we'll have all of our tickets given away later today. So if you've not yet had a chance to do that, sign up. Again, that's coming up this Friday, which is awesome. And then also, like I said, going to have Robert's Buffet reopen at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort. And if you're heading out to Grand Falls, I encourage you to make a donation for the Sioux Falls Fireworks Fund. Stop by the Resort Club, give them $10, and they will give you $10 in free play at the casino. And the $10 that you donate goes directly to our Sioux Falls Fireworks Fund for SiouxFallsFireworks.org. I'm going to go through and make sure I thank everybody that's a sponsor. Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort has been for many years, and a huge thank you to them. Also, a new sponsor this year, Market Beat. Huge thank you to them. Uh, the fireworks are presented by Sunny 93.3, but also presented by Fox 7. And I want to say thank you to our friends at Fox 7 for stepping up this year and being a part of this. Also, huge thank you to Notaboom RV, Right at Home, Car Swap, Giving Hope Bingo, which we're going to circle back to in a bit, IBEW, that's the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Foley's Heating and Air Conditioning, XL Energy, Smithfield Foods, Track to Trail Arctic Cat, Outbound Sound, and Big Paws Canine Foundation. Now, I said we were going to circle back to Giving Hope Bingo. If you would like to contribute to the fireworks, another way you can do that is through the website Giving Hope Raffle. 
com, And when you go on there, you can actually get involved in a raffle that happens every Monday. So we'll have another one coming up tonight. Uh, so you can buy your tickets today, and you could win tonight. Uh, minimum is going to be 150 bucks. you win, but you could win the jackpot, and that keeps growing every single week. So if you get a chance, the website for that, again, givinghoperaffle.com, and I do have a link to that on our Facebook page and uh, also a link to that at SiouxFallsFireworks.org. Uh, but th- the thing that's really cool, they're going to be doing uh, uh, making a donation to the fireworks based on how much money comes in. So the more money that comes in for that raffle, the bigger the donation to the Sioux Falls Fireworks. So huge thank you to our friends at uh, Giving Hope Bingo. And again, the website to get your raffle ticket, givinghoperaffle.com. And again, huge thank you to everybody that's a sponsor. Make plans to join us on the 4th of July in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It is the Sioux Falls Fireworks. All the details at SiouxFallsFireworks.org. Huge thank you to Paul's Designer Showroom, the sponsor of today's Bright Spot of news. Small businesses are the heart of our community. As things get back to normal, I hope you'll go out of your way to do business with locally owned businesses in your area. We've been so pleased with the response of our gift card challenge that we're going to keep this going. If you can, buy an extra gift card. You can use it yourself or give it to someone who needs a little help right now. When you buy a gift card, remember to post a photo on social media with hashtag gift card challenge. Learn more at giftcardchallenge.com. Org. And it's time right now for a little bit of entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Oh, <laughs> so clever it is. Fabulous. They say stuff, they sing stuff, they wear stuff that's so much better than our stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, here's the a lot of people were bummed out because a few months ago. There was going to be what a lot of people thought was a was a pretty cool little concert offering. Motley Crue was going to headline, get back on the oh, road yeah, this right. summer, uh, hooked up with Def Leppard, yeah. Poison, and Joan Jett and the Black Eyes. Yeah, that's a, a heck awesome. of a ticket, man. Uh, yeah, it was, and nobody really knew what to expect. And, of course, that was all due to the... Uh, the uh, Chinese uh, flu virus. Well, but, but they also said, we're only going to do this if Vince Neil loses some weight. So I think he may have been the reason that we had COVID. He's well, like, he's got another it. year to do it because they've Does rescheduled. He? They've Good. pushed it all ahead a year, though. Huh. So in other words, what was going to be happening this summer it's is be now. It's going to be next year now. It is. In Gives fact, him a little more time to, you know. Well, and in case you're wondering, the closest they're going to get to our neck is now we're talking. I'm not, not, not kidding. The, all the tour dates have been reset again, but for 2021. Yeah. If you had already bought tickets to that, you can get a hold of your ticket vendor and either re-up for next year or you can get a refund okay so they're they're playing it real straight okay, cool uh the closest they're getting to our neck of the woods they'll be july 8th in minneapolis okay they'll be in denver colorado on the 26th of august nice. that's 2021. about it yeah what uh i think if i'm not mistaken how old is mick mars these days hmm. see i'm wondering if he's gonna, gonna make that <laughs> He'll be around. <laughs> He's going to make the bus. Yeah, he'll, get, he'll, be, he'll be fine. <laughs> so you're saying we're worried about the wrong band member? <laughs> no, Mick Mars, he'll be 70 next yeah. year, actually. It's all right. He's moving slow now, so I don't, hey, <laughs> hey, I don't have a dog in this fight. Whatever. Good luck to everybody playing. All right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, thank you for that update, sir. Uh, yeah, it's uh, virtually the least I can do, John. Well, it is the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you by SiouxFallsFireworks.org. If you have a credit card, We'd like to help you make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if we can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. If you don't have a credit card right now, you can check us out too at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Monday, June 22nd. Equity investors got a healthy dose of reality on Friday when Apple announced it was closing stores in some hard-hit states. Economic reopenings in states like Florida and Arizona have resulted in record COVID cases sparking the company's decision. A total of 11 stores, including those in North Carolina and South Carolina, are part of the closing, and more could follow in the coming days. 
The news from Apple highlights a growing fear, the fear that COVID will cause another round of economic shutdowns in the U.S. The S&P 500 responded by reversing gains and moving lower by about 1%. The takeaways are that however dire Friday's news may seem, the S&P 500 still closed up for the week and is poised for gains in the weeks to come. An increase in the number of COVID cases won't hold the market back so long as the economic data is improving. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.